Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another reaction video. Today I will be reacting to a new song from Joshua Travis. It features Andy Sezek on vocals. Joshua, Josh is in Amir. He does guitar and programming for Amir. And then Andy is in multiple bands. I think my favorite project that he's doing right now uh, would be the single that he's put out with Monuments. He is a perfect fit for Monuments. I'm really excited to see what else they put out. But he's also in Wonder. He He's in multiple bands, so I would definitely suggest checking out what else he's done. This is something I'm very excited for because I reacted to another song from Josh Travis featuring Andy that was called The Hollow. I picked that one out from The Generator. Or maybe it's just hollow. I don't remember. But either way, the song was awesome. It had major glass cloud vibes, which is also a band that Josh Travis was part of. A really awesome band. But unfortunately, they haven't put out any new music and they're not a band anymore. But they're awesome. Glass Cloud is really good. You should check out what they've put out if you have not heard it. So anyway, I'm excited to check out this song. I saw that it was a new one and I even saw it in the comments a little bit after that and I knew I had to do it since I did uh, that, the Hollow song. So I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it.
also Gouge, Joshua Travis featuring Andy Sizek. Let's discuss. The slow buildup in the intro was definitely cool with the guitar kicking in, along with a few other effects that you could definitely hear in there. It sounded pretty sweet to me. And then there was definitely a part in there where I thought it was about to drop, but then it did not uh, on the intro, like it's, but the drum just started kind of like consistently. I don't know if it was snare or what, like I've said in my videos before, I'm no drummer, but, uh, I thought it was about to drop, but then like the drum just became, the drumming just became a bit more consistent. And I thought that sounded very cool. And then when the vocals did kick in, I liked how it started you off. You had that little pause and then it just like whirls you into it. I think that the whole song, that kind of does it for the whole song. It was definitely chaotic and an intense song, but another very good one from these two. I think that vocally and musically, it was chaotic and impressive. Not not just the vocals, probably. I'd like to know if it's just Andy on vocals or not. I saw a playthrough pop up when I was pulling this video up to do the reaction, uh, where it looked like both Andy and Josh maybe were on there. So I'll have to give that a look and see if maybe they, they show the entirety of it ran through. But the vocal parts, there was either like more going on than just Andy or the layers on it were, were just crazy. I think that he's an incredible vocalist. Like I said in the beginning, he's part of multiple different projects, um, but most recently he joined Monuments and is their vocalist. They put out Animus, and some of the screams and vocal patterns that you hear in this song with Andy are similar to what I loved off of that new Monument single. So at this point, it's not really that new, I guess, the, the Monument single. I don't know if I should call it the newest mo or the new Monument single. It's more like the newest Monument single, I guess. It's been out for a minute now, uh, but still, that song has been one of my favorites from this year. Uh, so the vocal patterns, some of the vocal parts, you definitely could hear those things that I really enjoyed off of that new Monument single, but it also brought brought some different stuff from Andy, which I'll eventually get to for now. Um, but the guitar, something I noticed, the guitar sounded really awesome, chaotic, what you would expect from Josh Travis, but it almost sounded a bit buried in the mix at certain parts, like mo most of it to me. And it's a little bit unfortunate because the, I feel like the guitar playing that you get here is, is so good and so unique. So I kind of wish that that was up a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe I wonder also, does Josh do like the drums on who does the drumming for this? Because the, the drumming I was also vibing with, there were certain parts of it, uh, like at the end there where just that consistent beat that it had was super catchy. So definitely something I can bang my head to. The drumming was very solid. I don't know why I just stuttered so hard to say. The range, also the range on Andy's vocals, it's it's so cr incredible to me. The song is really sick. I'd like to see more from Andy in like this style that I was talking about on that Animus uh, song by Monuments. In this song, the hollow that these two did together as well. I really love that style and I don't think that from Andy's other projects, like he is the vocalist of Wonder, which is a band that I actually really enjoy, but that also shows definitely how talented he is. If you go listen to something by Wonder, W-V-N-D-E-R, and that's Andy as well, and you can see the different... He's able to, to make music with multiple different bands and multiple different genres, but I think that this style of Andy's vocals is definitely my favorite. He's just very versatile, and it shows if you go and listen to some of his other projects and then come and listen to stuff like this. He's just very talented. I'm a really big fan of Andy, so I thought he did excellent on this song. I was really stoked to see him doing another song with Josh Travis, and there was also that fuck drop, and then after that, there was, like, these lows, and they just sounded incredible. In fact, the entire vocal part after that, I think, sounded incredible after that drop. The guitar went along with the vocals in that part perfectly. It sounded absolutely awesome. The whole song was just very chaotic and intense and, and heavy, and I enjoyed it for sure. I do wish the guitar was a little bit more prominent in the mix, but that's okay. I think it was a very well done track, and I hope they do a whole album of this because it's just very good. It feels like the glass cloud that we didn't get any more of, kind of, but maybe, maybe even better to me. I really like these two songs that they've put out, so let me know what you thought in the comments, and if you have a different type of song that you would like to be added to either of the lists that I work off of when I'm doing request-based videos, 
Both links will be in the description as well as the invite link to the Discord server. We have had new people joining, more conversation going on in there. Very fun in my opinion, so the link will be in the description if you're interested in joining us. And lastly, if you enjoy the style of music, content, the bands that I post on my YouTube channel, I post more music-related content on Instagram. My handle is the same as my YouTube channel. It's Rachel Reacts. I will put it up here on the screen for you. If you're interested in following me, I post what I'm listening to, my vinyl collection, merch, stuff like that, all music related. So if you're interested, go ahead and give me a follow. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.